Hello everyone, it's Donnie. You're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Welcome back to my channel. I have um, a bit of things from every which place to show you. I thought I would, um, I've just been kind of accumulating stuff <clears throat> that I bought recently and I just thought I'd show. Uh, it's not all diamond painting related. In fact, some most of it isn't, but as you know, uh, I like to do perler beading with Teslin and I my husband actually saw something on one of his uh, uh geek uh blogs he he reads and it sh he actually showed them to me and thought of Teslin. So, I actually ordered them because they weren't that expensive. Uh, the first thing is this Super Mario Brothers 3 a perler bead container. Yeah, I'm going to have to separate all these colors, but um, yeah, it's got all the sprites. <laughs> it's got 11 different ones. That's eight of them that they're showing right there. And then the other three are up here on top. So those are those three. And then these. she really wants to do the Super Mario Brother one. I've just um, been super crazy busy, so I set aside time for us to do it tomorrow morning after breakfast. And then I get to work on making pins the rest of the day. So that was the first one. And this is the other one that my husband linked. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's very pixelated, but that's how it's supposed to be because The Legend of Zelda was out originally on the Nintendo. The regular Nintendo and this is what the characters look like and the things in the game look like very pixelated so I, I haven't seen a perler bead set come in a box before but I'm not going to you do well I'll try again but I, I did one that was an off-brand that I got from uh, Michael's and the beads just would not fuse together. It was it was so frustrating So I think this one's really cool where it shows the Health potion half full but this has 12 different ones and Yeah, I think this will be pretty cool to do Woody. You found Woody awesome But he See? That's weird noises. Yeah, because he's dying. <laughs> His yeah. batteries are dying, I should say. Yeah. So we need to get a new one for Christmas. No, we'll see if we can change the batteries or something. And okay. It doesn't have any meaning. It just has stuff in it, and that's all. Okay. Yeah, um, I might unbox this in another video. Um, it looks pretty cool. I'm interested to see if they're separated or not. I doubt they are, but, but yeah, we haven't even opened it yet. I'm more excited about this one, um, than the Mario Brothers one, but Tesla wants to do this one. One thing I, I, I'm not thrilled about this is because there's not, there's not very many colors at all, but it looks like there's maybe five colors, <laughs> maybe six. But, you know, you've, you've got to look at it as what it is. You know, a very old school video game that um, had major pixelation to it. So, yeah, okay. Well, there's that. It was from Amazon. And then I picked these up from Amazon as well. They're, um, I just use the regular tweezers that come with um, my diamond painting kits, but... These will be good for Teslin, the bigger grippers. So I don't know if there's anything else to them, but six and up, she's six. So, so I figured we'd give that a shot. Um, <clears throat> I've gotten some other perler bead kits, but they're all listed underneath uh, perler beading in my Amazon on my Amazon page. So anything to do with perler beads will be on there if you're interested in any of it. Uh, so just go take a look. Um, the, the next thing is, um, you know, 
there's this whole scra scratch art craze going on. I tried one I got from the Dollar Tree, but it just came with a little stick and I didn't do too well. And I kind of got bored with it really fast, but I thought I would give the give it one more shot, you know, since everybody's doing it, you know, I got to jump jump on that bandwagon. But I only did the <coughs> reason <coughs> excuse me, the reason I did is cuz I found a book that is just my style and it's this um mythical creatures so i thought that might be neat to try um i haven't opened it yet so let me open it real quick here um, i have this listed on my amazon page under coloring books even though it's not coloring it's technically something like that i don't have a book section yet um i might get one going eventually but I have a lot of coloring books. And so that's, <clears throat> that's mainly the books I buy off of there. I, my other books I normally get through Audible. <clears throat> Man, I don't know why. Every time I start talking, I get a frog. Okay, this is cool. So you open up the cover. And as you can see up here, it's solid. It's because you flip them upwards. So this is pretty intricate. Um, wow, but they have, they're really thick. And it has tracing paper in between to protect the, the cover of each um, one. So let's see what we got. Okay, the first one looks like it's a werewolf. Now let me move these beads out of the way. There we go. First one's a werewolf. I'm guessing it's a werewolf because there's a full moon and everything. <clears throat> and then the next one is, it looks like the Loch Ness Monster. Then we got a fairy. Some of these are really close together. They might be kind of difficult to do. And the next one is a Yeti. And then a dragon. Oh, yeah, dragon. And we've got a mermaid. So that looks like maybe. Looks like a big eel. But I'm guessing it's probably a mermaid. Yeah, okay, that's her tail. <clears throat> that's her tail right there. And it comes around. And she's like petting a fish. Oh, and then there's a unicorn pegasus. Pegahorn. I don't know what the, that would be called, but it's got the wings and then the horn. And then we've got King Triton. Oh, he looks pretty basic, though. His face. And then there's just a unicorn with lots of flowers all around. Oh, there's a lot in here. And we've got a chimera, chimera. It's got the scorpion tail, dragon wings, head of a lion. And then a griffin. An elf lady, it looks like. She's got the big ears. Yeah, these are really thick pages. And then... I'd say that was a griffin, but we already had a griffin. Maybe it's another type. A peak. It's got a peacock head, so that's kind of different. So this is made by Sterling Children's Books. And in the back here, it's got a wooden scratcher, which looks really flimsy. So I purchased, um, I also purchased uh, an eight pack of scratchers they've got a fine tip on one end and then a bigger fat end on this side so i'm gonna have to give it a shot yeah uh, i put these under office supplies and then the book is under coloring books and they came with a hole in the bottom because they're so pointy all right so there's that i also picked up these on amazon and I thought I'd give them a try because 
you know, this is something I've been looking for. Uh, it's like the Harbor Freight ones, but they, I think they're a little, yeah, they're smaller containers. But there are uh, 28 slots. And this, this is a real sturdy container. It's actually even thicker than the other ones that I normally use. Oh, here. Here's the ones that we normally use um, that have the seven of seven rows of the four slots. And I mean, this is thick as it is. Um, but as you can see, this is quite a bit bigger and it, it feels a lot thicker and a lot sturdier than this. Even though I think this is sturdy enough, this is plenty sturdy. Um, so look, you can see the size difference. But let's look at this, what we got. They are in little square cubes. So yeah, you don't have to worry about uh, spilling or anything, having several in one container. You, they each have their own separate box. I'm not sure how well they'll, they stay closed. And, I mean, they seem pretty sturdy the closures on them but yeah this is this is like perfect and then you can move them around if you that because one of the, my problems when I use this is I don't get them in the right order to begin with and then because I like to have them in a specific um, order going by shapes and such and if I get it in the wrong place you know that just throws me off of the whole thing and I can't change it unless, you know, I want to move everything over. So that is one benefit of these. I don't remember how much I paid, but I don't want to, I want to, I don't want to give the wrong price, but I do have it under um, diamond painting accessories on my Amazon page. But yeah, these can be moved around and whatnot. And it, and it came in a pack of two, so I have two of them here. I'm sorry if I'm sounding like I can't speak because I have been up since 2.30 this morning and it's now 7 p.m. So I'm trying to stay awake for the evening so I don't get my wacky schedule even more wacky um all right the next thing i picked up oh i didn't pick it up i got it uh i went to i got these from michael's i have a bag of stuff here now this was a while ago that i went it's been probably a week or two probably more than a week ago and I told you how I, I wasn't going to do the ones that weren't Perler brand on the uh, per fuse beads, but I did pick some up at, and I can already see that they're really bad. I mean, you can look in there and see all the tabs and how some of the holes don't have, excuse me, I have a hole. It's like plugged up. That makes it really hard to do. And the tabs are difficult because um, you have to snip them off because if you get the tab side down, it won't sit in there. If you have the tab side up, it makes for uh, when you go to iron it, it gets in the way. So these are cute. I might just use the pattern and use the Perler Bead brand. But these were $1.50, but they were on sale. Let me grab the receipt here. I've had it sitting here and I think it's fading. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm almost there. I keep pulling my Dollar Tree receipts. All right, here we go. So they were $1.50 and they were on sale, so I got them for 90 cents. I got a couple. Let's see, where's the other one? Yeah, here's another one, a, a Valentine's Day one. So that was 90 cents as well. 
and and then pick this one. She just grabbed one of each one of them. There's the B, which is really cute. Um, let's see. I think. Let's see. It says I got four of them. I did one, which was the no. The llama was from Christmas time, so that was earlier. I think it's right here. Okay. And then there's this, uh, I don't know, is it a unicorn or a horse? Looks like it's just a horse. So those are the four I picked up at Michael. So 90 cents each, cheaper than the Dollar Tree. And, and then um, these other ones, they were normally $2. I got for $1.20. And these should be okay to do. They're, they're little time and diamond paint, paintings. It's Creol Creatology brand. Um, and this is a Valentine's Day special. It looks like it's a sticker. Can't tell. It's a sparkle patch kit. But... It says ideal for creating decorating phones and tablets so yeah it looks like it's a sticker yeah I can see the outline on it now it's a cute little llama for a dollar twenty I mean it's pretty great uh, it comes with a little round tray the pin and then the colors that you need uh, I don't see wax in here Uh, there it is. There's a little tiny piece of wax. And the funny thing is, is it doesn't come with the metal tip. It just has the plastic piece. Which is, is perfectly possible. Uh, you know, you can do it that way. I've been doing my rhinestones when I didn't have a pen with me. I was using um, just this open tip to you do the rhinestone diamond painting. But there's that one. And then this one's a unicorn. Dollar twenty for that as well, and there's all the gems. And these, so these are round, and you can see everything that came in it. But they had it over with all the uh, Valentine's Day stuff, and I got this stuff on clearance here. All the Christmas stuff was, let's see, normally five dollars. Yeah, so it was, um, these were only a dollar, so it was 80% off. And these ones are kind of different. These are just stickers. It's not washi tape. I didn't really realize that, but yeah, it's a layer sticker roll, but a dollar for that one. And that shows you all the different designs that are on there. And then... This one, so this was a dollar, this washi tape here. And these are, these have a lot on them. Look how thick they are. I also got, so I got two of the sticker ones because it looked like, yeah, this one's uh, uh, actually, they have different sayings. They have a couple of them that have, similar but but they're different they're two different ones so a dollar each maybe next Christmas I'll use the stickers to decorate something I don't know but this is it says Christmas but it looks more yeah cocktail beginning to look a lot like cocktails is what it says on there and then I got this one which is, I think, is super pretty. It's a Christmas one, too, but it's got those foil designs on there. Some of them are really thin, so I'll have to figure something. I can, I can wrap pins with the, the, this tiny stuff. So that's what I might do with it. But there's a lot in these. There are, I mean, it's got a thick roll. I think 
That's only one, only ones I got. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So that's the four. And then the four of those and the two of those. Oh, and then I did get one other thing. And I used a 55% off coupon from AC Moore. Um, I'll show you that in a second. I did get some from Dollar Tree. And these actually look better than the ones from um, Michael's. They the beads in them actually look really good. I I can't couldn't believe that they had these at Dollar Tree. Uh, so, I mean, it was ten cents more actually than paying for these. But it's kind of funny how these look like they're better quality from the Dollar Tree than the ones from Michaels. So we'll see when we try them out. Um, we got this one. It says Melty Bead. But I don't know if that's the brand. It has the uh, Greenbrier, Greenbrier International on it, which is the with which is uh, Dollar Tree's com the company that is Dollar Tree. <laughs> so there's the heart, and then I got the this one says love, and it's got a. Um, the board in there is a rectangular one. So I'm getting all sorts of different size uh, pegboards. And then just one more is this cupcake. So it's pretty cool. I noticed how they have a lot of specialty stuff, way more seasonal stuff um, at the Dollar Trees in town than here in my, my the one here in my city. And that's where I had to go to find these. So that all this plus the one last thing I wanted to show you. Um, see, I I had if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I had bought these um, scrapbooking books. They're twelve by twelve to store my diamond my finished diamond paintings in and. And then other people started using um, portfolios and whatnot to to show off their works and a place to store them. But I had somebody had shown in the group a long time ago that that's what they were using to store them. And I've been on the lookout for a portfolio since then, and I couldn't find a portfolio or it was too expensive, so I ended up getting the scrapbooking books. And I finally looked in the right spot at Michael's because these things are not cheap. Um, and I, but I did find a portfolio. I went, I chose to go with a, the largest they had. And this one is a 14 by 17 inches. So it'll hold a, a 35 by 43 diamond painting. And I, I didn't get the one, um, Danielle has a couple, a portfolio she's using as well, um, but I, the one she has is the one with the ring, the binder with, the, it has the ring so you can add pages to it. This has plenty of pages that will keep me, it, it will keep for a long time and I don't think I'd want any more than this anyway. Um, but this one isn't as well made as the like the ones with the three rings because the papers that are in here are just like construction paper, whereas the other one has it's they're like thick cardboard and but I could still mount stuff uh, diamond paintings onto these. Um, but this is going to be generally for like the thirty by forties because yeah, a thirty by forty will fit in here. Um, because I have the other one for the 30 by 30 in smaller, but this has, oh, how many pages, does it say how many pages? I don't think it says how many pages, but it has a lot of pages. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it just says how many inches. It doesn't tell you how many pages, but let's look real quick here. Let's see. There, so there's going to be two. Four, six, eight, 
10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 40, 2, 4, 6, 8. So there's 24 pages. So you can fit 40. I, 48 diamond paintings can fit in here. And that's going to take me a really long time to fill up. Especially since it's just for this particular size between a 30 by 30 and a, a 30 by 40. So I'm... And since that's that's my new favorite size is 30 by 40, you know, a lot of them will go in here that I'm not going to be putting on the wall. You know, I might go ahead and, you know, get decals or something like like Danielle did because that's a pretty cool, cool idea. And, that, and I plan on using this um, just for diamond painting. So, yeah, uh, this is normally, oh, what's this? Oh, it's showing you to open it up all the way and you can pull this paper out. But, okay, the price on this, these, like I said, these are really expensive. This, the price on this is normally um, $38. And I got 55% off, so I saved $20.90 on it. And I paid, so I paid $17.10. And altogether, I, I saved $40.90 on this order. Uh, it would have normally been $68. And I paid a total of $27.10 for everything. And like I said, the other one is probably, I think the other brand is actually a little bit more, it's quite a bit more expensive. I think it was like $70 for the other brand. And that was one of the biggest reasons why I didn't buy it. In fact, yeah. That is the reason. And and it also didn't have as many pages as this one. So, Well, uh, I do believe that's it. And my video clip is about to end. So I guess that's where we're going to end this video. And, and yeah, I have more pins to show. But I'm sure by the time this video gets up, I have already made a video showing those pins and um, that's it for this one I probably don't even have time to ask a question of the day so just tell me what your plans are for the weekend or if it is the weekend when this video goes up or if the weekend just passed when the weekend uh, when by the time this video goes up if it's already it's already during the week let just tell me what you did last weekend um this weekend i'm just making videos and making pens i'm gonna spend all day tomorrow making pens and making another video of me packing them up and sending them out so if you could leave your answer down below in the comment section i would appreciate it go ahead and hit that like button on your way down and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video have fun diamond painting and don't forget to sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do bye